Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Practical Civil Engineers. Dear viewers, today I am going to discuss a very important topic, and uh, this topic is uh, very important for every person who are interested to build their house or any other commercial activities so this video lecture is very important if you like the video so kindly share subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates so let's we start our today's lecture today's lecture is about thumb rules for depth or thickness of beam and slabs so we know that thumb rules uh, as per their experience and many experiments they derived some formulas which is the which is i think the shortcuts and uh, that is very uh, on safe side so always get beams and roofs slab design but when this step will be proved safe and economical only experimental circumstances thumb rules based on experience should be used thumb rule for depth of beam and slab may be as under so let's we start span and supports so uh, if if the span is 10 meter up to 10 meter the span is up to 10 meter if the span is up to 10 meter and the supports are simply supported and the supports are simply supported so the depth of the beam will be 1 by 20 of span means that f if the span is if the span is up to 10 meter means that uh, <coughs> the span is 10 meter so it will be divided by or 1 divided by 20 multiplied by 10 so the beam width will be 0.5 meter depth 0.5 meter means multiplied by 1.64 feet so this is as per thumb rule when the supports when the spans up to 10 feet 10 meter and the supports are simply supported so then 1 divided by 20 of the span will be the depth of a beam f and and the same case in a slab so it will take we will take 1 divided by 30 of span means 30 feet span so this is impossible we will let's suppose 5 meter is the let's suppose the span of the slab is 5 meter 5 meter divided by 30 0 0.16 multiplied by 3.281 so this is become 0 0.54 which is multiplied by 12 for inches which is 6.562 inches so the next is if the supports if the span is up to 10 meter and the supports are continuous
then the beam the ratio for depth of the beam will be 1 by 26 of the span and for slab 1 by 35 of the span the next when up to 10 meter and the supports are cantilever 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 then 1 by 7 is the ratio of its span for beam and 1 by 12 of the span is the ratio for depth of slab and up to 10 meter and simply supported simply supported but two direction but two but two direction so the beams are not in two direction so the two direction is only possible in a slave so the ratio for 1 divided by 35 of the span in the next step up to 10 meter continues but two direction continues but two direction so this is also not possible in beam for slave this its ratio will be 1 by 40 of its span which is which will be the depth of the slave and above and above 10 meter means more than 10 meter so more than 10 meter the depth depth for depth for 10 meter is equal to span multiplied by span by 10 it means that I will wrote here span multiplied by span divided by 10 and the depth for depth depth for 10 meter for 10 meter it will also be span multiplied by span by 10 meter it means that the span for 10 meter this one uh, simply support our continuous or con uh, cantilever beam it will be take n multiplied by the span divided by the extra span divided by 10 so this is the thumb rule for uh, for uh, finding out the depth of beams for different supports and different length and the depth of slave for different supports and different length or different span so if you like the video kindly subscribe the channel and keep watching the video thank you